You and your furry friends might be enjoying the great outdoors again, but it's important to protect yourself from ticks while doing so. Western Mass News reporter Lena Chikowski spoke with a local expert and found out some of the things you think might be helping could actually cause more harm in the long run. Recent spring-like temperatures have brought Western Mass pet owners and their companions out to the dog parks in full force. But this time of year is when ticks thrive the most. We caught up with pet parents at the Agawam Dog Park to see how they're keeping themselves and their furry friends safe. We check their ears and their paws and all the areas where ticks normally go. I rely on the Ceresta collar for my dog um, and my cat is indoors. Do indoor pets require the same type of protection as outdoor pets? Entomologist Natasha Wright explains. If you do have indoor and outdoor pets, like indoor pets that don't go outside and aren't exposed to fleas and ticks, but then you have outdoor pets that do or go back and forth inside, the potential for spreading a flea or tick infestation is there. While Vanderhoof opts for Ceresto, Krauss uses alternate medications. They get a monthly heartworm pill that helps um, with fleas and ticks, and then um, they get an Advantix topical ointment. But which option is most effective? Pills are okay. A lot of times the pills only affect the immature stage of the flea, which means the adult flea is still around. So a topical can help with that as well. Um, the flea collars, most of them do not work very efficiently. There is one on the market called Ceresto that does work if they want to go that route. And while preventative medication may stop your animals from spreading diseases to each other, it doesn't prevent against the ticks that may hitchhike on you. Non-conventional or improper removal methods can actually increase the risk of the tick regurgitating its diseases from its gut onto you or your pet. So here's how to do it the right way. You want to take tweezers as close to the skin as possible and just firmly pull up on that tick. You don't need to do anything else. Lena Joukowsky, Western Mass News.